Border apprehensions are breaking records in Yuma, but darker milestones are also being set. Thank, thank you for joining us, and good evening. I'm Mercedes Martinez. And I'm Scott Crowe. Our Adam Klepp investigates the rising number of migrant deaths across the county of Yuma and asks humanitarian groups as well as law enforcement what's behind these alarming numbers. According to the Yuma County Sheriff's Office, on January 21st, 2022, they found the body of a 46-year-old Mexican woman right where I'm standing, saying her cause of death was a fall from the top of the 30-foot border wall and that deputies discovered her body at 8.50 in the morning. At the time, it was the third migrant death in Yuma County for 2022, but fast forward now to the end of October, and the Yuma County Sheriff's Office has tracked more than 50 migrant deaths in Yuma County an all-time high. Along the U.S.-Mexico border in Arizona, a wall splits the Sonoran Desert. While the migrants who enter the United States say they're fleeing dangerous situations, what awaits them on this side of the wall can be even more treacherous, and for some, even deadly. 58 migrants have died in Yuma County this year from 10 different countries, mostly in Yuma's East Desert. Each point on this map marking where a migrant took their last breath. One dying of COVID at Yuma Regional Medical Center. Others, just their remains found, with no way of identifying sex, age, nationality, or when and how they died. The Yuma County Sheriff's Office says each year the record keeps breaking. We are at 62 deaths that the Sheriff's Office has responded to this year, uh, compared to the 35 in total of last year, and compared to the 16 from 2020. So what's behind the rise? Local Border Patrol Chief Chris Clem says it's a mix of bad actors taking dangerous routes into the U.S. to evade his agents, mixed with smugglers giving bad information to migrants. But it is purely profit-making and exploitation of people that is leading to those deaths out there in the desert. Humanitarian organizations like Humane Borders work in desert areas trying to prevent migrant deaths. Brad Jones says they maintain 30 water stations in the Tucson sector desert and agrees smugglers often lie to migrants. That they're often told that the crossing is much safer uh, than, you know, than it really is, that the distances that one needs to travel are far shorter than what uh, they, they really are. But Jones adds federal border policies are also causing the rise of migrant deaths, not just in Yuma, but along the entire border. Uh, Title 42 is a contributing factor, not only to uh, migrant deaths and suffering in the Yuma sector, but you know, really in the Tucson sector and all the way out into the sectors in uh, uh, Texas. Title 42 closes ports of entry to most asylum seekers, pushing them to cross illegally in order to make a legal asylum claim. But for some migrants from certain countries, Title 42 means immediate deportation if apprehended by Border Patrol. Over half of all the migrants who died in Yuma County this year likely would have been deported if caught by law enforcement. Jones says he believes Title 42 will remain in place and the deaths will continue. It's at least the courts that have jurisdiction uh, on the revocation of Title 42 seem to be pretty clear that uh, there's no interest in, in revoking it. And since my interview with the Yuma County Sheriff's Office, deputies have responded to two more migrant deaths. If you'd like to see the map tracking all the migrant deaths so far in Yuma County this year, it's on our website, kyma.com. Reporting in Yuma, Adam Klepp, News 11. Thank you, Adam. And again, a majority of the deaths taking place in Yuma County's East Desert. Another complication from this issue is a lot of the desert land is owned by the U.S. military. And many deaths occur on the Barry Goldwater Range where MCAS, the Marines, Yuma conducts training operations. They offered us a statement saying the deaths are a concern and, quote, we look forward to continued and enhanced cooperation with our partners at Yuma County Sheriff's Office and U.S. Customs and Border Protection to help keep unauthorized personnel off the range. 